Hey guys, welcome back to the Indian Beauty Blogs YouTube channel. Today I have with me the new Coriolis Hot Brush for a review. Since my hair is a little too wavy right now, I got them um, smoothened, straightened last year. But in the last one, one and a half years, the effects are now gone and I'm left with half wavy, half straight hair. And you know, again, I'm getting into that frequent styling or frequent ironing mode so I'm pretty excited to try out this product I've, I've heard like really good reviews about this one we'll quickly unbox this and we'll see how this works so it comes in a boxed packaging like this so there's an instruction manual inside I'm just quickly going to read this before we get down to the demo and there's this brush here in this packaging which I don't know I might just retain it this is what the brush looks like and it has a pretty long cable to it so I see a power button on the side here and temperature control buttons um, plus and minus here you know the bristles they have these red bulbs on top these are silicone bulbs and these will prevent any burns to your scalp so basically you know you can comb through like this I guess so let me just plug this in and also i'll read the instruction manual before we begin while the brush heats up so it says uh, ensure hair is dry and combed through connect the appliance to the correct mains power supply press the power button on press plus minus to select the desired temperature for your hair type we would recommend starting with a low setting always begin at the lowest heat temperature increase as your hair type requires separate a section of your hair place the brush close to the roots and brush downward from the root to tip repeat as necessary allow hair to cool before styling with hair products after use press the power button to turn off and allow the appliance to cool before you put it back do not use in the bathroom or while bathing do not use appliance near basins or other vessels so i have plugged it in and i'm going to now put this on the temperature the LED display is now on if you can see the blue light and I'm going to set the temperature to maybe 200 degrees so the temperature is progressively increasing 74 75 76 77 that's how it is going on it is at 137 degrees now so let's just quickly talk about the brush itself the cord here rotates or swivels full 360 degrees which comes in handy when you're styling especially since you know my um, the cord is plugged in behind me so I'll need it to you know, move in all directions like that I can feel it getting warm I think I should you know since I have really fine hair maybe I should I have just changed the temperature to 180 degrees I don't want to burn my hair in the very first go I'm using the Vela Emi um, BB lotion for the hair as a heat protectant. I'm going to divide my hair into two sections on each side again, upper and lower sections. And usually, I like to clip on the section that I'm not, you know, working on. If you can see, my hair is all kinky here. I mean, the lower part is still relatively straight. That's Still, you know retaining the effect of the smoothening but this part is all wavy and that's what I don't like so I'm going to clean comb through this area so the brush has reached 180 degree now and I'm going to start with a section like this oh Okay, this is impressive. Oh wow, wow, that's really nice. You can see already this section looks so shiny and um, straight. I think I'm totally wowed by the product. I can't even talk right now. So you basically have to ensure that your hair is you know, going through.
and it is quite hot right now I mean the brush wow that's pretty neat pretty neat really good I'm pretty happy with the results on this side and the hair is not poker straight but as you can see it's you know nice and straight and smooth and definitely more shiny than the non-treated side and yeah I mean for somebody who has kinks like these and wants hair to be nice and manageable every day like this this is definitely something you should try for this side i'm planning to use i mean uh, planning to take bigger sections so that you know i just want to see if i'm just run, running out of the house and need a quick hair makeover if that will be possible with this brush or not i'm just going to brush through my hair without any sectioning this is what this side looks like where I did not section and it's manageable I mean I could do with some better sectioning in the lower parts of my hair in this side and but this side I mean if you spend five extra minutes I guess the results are going to be better than if you just run the brush through your hair and want to step out of the house definitely works better with uh, smaller sections so the one disadvantage that I just noticed was uh, I think this section did not get properly um, smoothened because the buttons I didn't realize that you know because of my hand the device got switched off so the buttons are um, you know, I wish they were placed somewhere else instead of on the side because you know you tend to keep changing the temperature and the device gets switched off in between if you are not careful so yeah I'm waiting for it to get to 180 again before I give this side a nice brush again so yeah now it um, the side also looks good um, I would still suggest that you you know take out two three five extra minutes section your hair into two sections on each side and then um, you know run this brush through the hair because that's going to give you better results like this side the side is also okay now but I had to run the brush through the section quite a few times so overall I really like this product I think it's 
it's great for everyday styling if you're just you know out of the shower but your hair needs to be dry for you to use it because otherwise it may not give you um, you know good results on wet hair but otherwise when you're just running out to the house and you don't have too much time to style your hair but you still want them to look shiny and smooth and you know straight um, I think this is a great product to try and um, this is especially a good buy if you buy it on discount I'm going to leave more information about the product and the link to where you can buy this from in the description box down below so if you want to buy it go check out the link in the description box and yeah I mean overall it's a nice product easy to use it's not very heavy I didn't really get tired using it it has a long cable that's it on this product I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this review helpful and I hope you were able to take a better informed decision about you know whether or not to buy this product I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a big thumbs up do subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you next time bye bye